Welcome back to the deep dive. Today we're jumping into something called Mine One Pro. Now, if you've seen this platform, you'll know it looks, well, pretty professional. It pitches itself as this easy way to mine crypto, withdraw profits daily, and the sources we looked at agree the appearance is spot on. You know, slip dashboards, mining plans laid out, withdrawal options. It looks real. Yeah, and that professional look is exactly why we're diving into it. I mean, a lot of scams look kind of amateurish, right? But Mine One Pro seems to have put real effort into that marketing facade. So our mission today is uh, really to cut through that shiny surface. What actually happens when users, you know, click deposit and dig a bit deeper? What are the red flags saying this is suspicious? Okay, yeah, let's get into that. So the first step seems to be the trap itself. A user puts money in and bang, they see results. Or, well, what look like results. Huge numbers popping up on their dashboard. Fake earnings, basically. But they look just like what you'd see on a legit investment platform. Exactly. It's designed to build instant confidence. Mm -hmm. They really mimic the look and feel of uh, genuine cloud mining setups. But the real user experience, the moment of truth, comes when you try to get your money out. Ah, uh, okay. So the smooth ride stops there. Pretty much, yeah. Suddenly it's not so seamless. This is where the, let's call it the extraction mechanism really kicks in. And what we found, reading through the reports, is consistent. When users try to withdraw those supposed profits, they get stopped. They're told, oh, you need to pay extra fees. Things like electricity fees or unlock fees. Is that right? That's exactly it. And this isn't just a small detail. It's uh, pretty cynical. These fees often aren't just a one-off thing. They know they have your initial deposit. They're banking on you being emotionally invested, right? You're more likely to pay a bit more, these smaller fees, just hoping to get your original money back. So it's not just one fee, it could be a series of them. They keep asking for more. What kind of stories do they spin to justify this? Well, they often wrap these extra demands in official sounding language. You see this pattern a lot. They might say, oh, there's a tax compliance fee or maybe an anti-money laundering check fee that needs paying before the withdrawal goes through. It's all psychological. Keep the person hoping, keep them chasing their losses by putting more in. And sadly, most people reporting this confirm they never see any of that money again. Okay, this sounds deliberately fraudulent, but hang on. If they're that sophisticated with the psychological side in the dashboard, why leave obvious clues like uh, hiding company details or using a domain name registered like last week? Seems sloppy. That's actually a really interesting point. It seems contradictory, but those sloppy details, the hidden info, the new domain, they aren't really signs of being amateur. We think it's more like preparation. They expect to shut down fast and pop up again under a new name. So they pour resources into the front end, the part you see, the convincing dashboard, not the back end stuff that could be traced later. Right, focus on the illusion. But here's something else tricky from the sources. Some people, early users, apparently did get small payouts at the beginning. Why would a scam pay anything out? Doesn't make sense at first glance. Yeah, that's the baiting mechanism. Those small early payouts, our analysis suggests they're baked into the plan. It serves two key purposes. First, the user who gets paid feels validated. Oh, it works. Then they invest more, often a lot more. Ah, uh, okay. And the second purpose? Social proof. Mm -hmm. That user goes online, maybe posts on a forum, hey, Mine One Pro paid me. That testimonial is gold for the scammers, worth way more than the few dollars they paid out. It pulls in lots of new victims before they finally just turn off the tab, stop paying anyone. It's all about escalating the investment psychologically. Wow. Okay. So putting it all together, is there any evidence of actual crypto mining happening behind the scenes here? Look, the verdict from everything we've reviewed is pretty clear cut. There's just no real proof of any mining activity at all. None. Mine One Pro fits the description of a, well, a sophisticated fake investment scheme, purely designed to trick people into depositing money likely multiple times. Right. So the main takeaway for you listening is really simple. Mine One Pro. Not a legit crypto miner. Steer clear. Don't risk your money chasing those flashy but ultimately fake returns. Absolutely. And maybe that leaves us with a final thought to chew on. We see how professional these scams can look now, right? Yeah. Perfectly mimicking real platforms. Yeah. So the question for all of us is, what new ways do we need to develop collectively to do our due diligence? How can we reliably tell real tech, real opportunities from these incredibly polished financial illusions built just to take money? Something to think about before you make that next investment click.